welcome back to Carolyn's Cozy Kitchen. I just wanted to touch base with you today to kind of tell you that I practice what I preach in terms of making sure that you have things that are ready or available to quick, quickly cook. So I wanted to talk about when I was uh, making my egg bites, I said sometimes it's good to have like a little mini buffet so that your family can decide what it is they want in their egg bites. And I had mentioned like, it is like a taco bar. And I came home from work today and I was like, you know, I just don't really feel like cooking. And if you follow my advice, you do what I do and kind of have things prepared at the beginning of the week as far as vegetables go. So you have lettuce, you have different vegetables already chopped up. Um, you know I have my Costco Mexican style cheese. And um, in Hawaii, we have a lot of um, natural, uh, I, I hate to call them disasters, but problems. So we always are, um, it, we always want to make sure anyway that we're prepared for things like hurricanes or times that we're without electricity or that possibly we're not able to shop. So I always have canned goods. I have shown you that my food saver, so I, buy bulk tortillas and that kind of thing. So I seal them so they're in the freezer. If I run out of things, if I can't go to the store, I have all of that, that kind of product available. So for example, I'm making tacos today. So I already had corn tortillas in the freezer and flour tortillas as well and I'm gonna tell you that there are things in, um, I'll call it prepping, that maybe you wouldn't naturally just buy for your everyday use, but it's okay to do that too. And that's like pre-prepared taco shells. You can keep them for a long time. They're sealed, so they can be a part of your emergency preparation. And sometimes emergency preparation is, I'm tired and I want, to just have a good taco and let everybody else spend for themselves. So what I do, or what I did today, came home, got a pound of ground beef out, and you can use ground chicken, you can use ground turkey, whatever your preference is. But like I also said, I, let's see, where did it go? <laughs> I really like McCormick spices, and because I kind of prep in case something goes wrong and I can't go to the store and buy those little packets of taco seasoning, I buy this. This is McCormick taco seasoning. For a pound of ground beef or ground turkey or whatever you, ground chicken, you wanna use, it's only a quarter of a cup of this, so this obviously will last a long time. So I have my McCormick taco seasoning. I put in a quarter cup into my meat and then three quarters, sorry about that, three quarters of a cup of water. And then I, you know, kind of let that soak. I have, this is the coolest tool ever, to, to break up ground beef or ground chicken, ground turkey. Because um, it doesn't take a lot of effort and it actually breaks it up into an appropriate size piece or bite. And then you have it done already. So it's awesome. So look at this, this is taco meat. I'm super excited about this. I don't know why I am so excited about this, but I have some friends that really are into tacos. So I'll just say, hey, this is a good thing for you too. Um, but like I said, all you have to do is have a taco bar, have greens, whatever kind of greens you like. I'm kind of weird, I like arugula and spinach. So I'm doing that. Oh, what a surprise, Mexican cheese. Have tomatoes, have different things. So onions, whatever people want to have on theirs, it's available. And along with my dinner tonight, and I'm super excited about this, I'm going to be drinking out of my Carolyn's Cozy Kitchen drink glass. So I'm super excited. Okay, I know that's weird, but I'm excited about it anyway. And I wanted to let you know, because like I said, 
it is really important to be prepared, not only for coming home from work tired and wanting to not cook, but also if you don't have the ability to cook. Like I said, in Hawaii, we have a hurricane. If we have um, some weather issues, we live or I live um, pretty close to the water. So tsunamis, we have a lot of possibilities of things happening and I wanna be prepared. There's not a moment that I want to be looking around for things or waiting in a super long line at the store or whatever. Or if my neighbors need help, I'm um, available to help other people too. So tonight is the taco bar. Please remember that even when you're tired, you don't have to make something fancy. If you wanna buy pre-made taco shells and use them, do it. It's better than going and buying Taco Bell. I'm sorry, Taco Bell. I'm sorry, Taco Bell. Anyway, it, it's okay to do things like that. And like I said, it's way better for you to do things like that off and on than to eat out all the time. So keep those things in hand, on hand. Freeze the things that you buy in big bulk. Keep larger spices in so you have them available, sorry. So you have them available to use whenever you need them. And you can make dinner really quick. So you can always come over here and eat with me in Carolyn's Cozy Kitchen. I'd actually like that. But I wanted to just show you this quick meal. Welcome up to the taco bar and enjoy your stay in Carolyn's Cozy Kitchen. And please come back. I actually like you and the world is a better place for me because you're here. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Like and subscribe. I'll see you real soon in Carolyn's Cozy Kitchen.